<laughs> the secret. <laughs> well, it's a secret. That's the point. Um, it's interesting because we evolve, which is the best part of the company. Is it started with a small company, then multiple small companies, and then over time it has a small company feel. So the secret is always to remain like you're small. Keep, right. it, keep agile, keep nimble, but have the benefits of a large company. Okay, the future I can make up because it hasn't happened. Um, as a company, we, we're, we're highly acquisitive. We buy a company a month on average, and we've always done that, and we develop technology. The theme behind us has always been trying to disrupt, trying to find ways to bring value in a way that no one else is doing. If we don't do that, we don't survive. And so most of our life is thinking about how can we do things differently? Well, it doesn't want to be disrupted, so that's not an easy task. And what, it's, it's really value-based. We spend a lot of time thinking about what hasn't been done, what could be done, what technology is coming that we could adopt. So it's not all acquisition of technology and it's not all development of technology. Sometimes it's adopting and being able to move. And so we do, we do some things where we grab different products that fit together, create solutions that have value, and then we do some things which is more in the digital space where you start looking at ways, how can we get smarter systems that eliminate cost naturally? And so we, we're kind of strange in how we work because we let all our companies do whatever they like, which if, for a large corporation is very strange. But we've learned that trust plus giving technology in a corporate level and letting it be available, people opt in and when they see the value, they choose it. And it does, it does make it different than everything else because in our industry, downturns, everyone compacts together and become these large behemoth organizations and then they want to carry everything and handle everything. But that needs disrupted, that model. And so either we're going to disrupt it or we're going to be disrupted. Well, there's a lot of different things. We, we cover everything in the business. But the thing that's interesting to us is we're bringing a lot of small technologies out of the shale gas environment in the US and making them available to the world. What happened in that environment was we were disrupted. The costs went screaming down in the process. And what happened was people on drilling rigs and people doing the work were able to be agile. They were able to make decisions for themselves. So we've actually been buying some of those small companies and then we've been adding software on top. So we've made it easy for someone to take an existing drilling rig, put an operating system on top and automate. What that means for the shale business and for the business all over the world is the best driller now is every driller. Suddenly the machine is smart. Suddenly it knows what to do. And we've actually put wire in the drill pipe and we do closed loop drilling automation, which means while you're drilling, the system senses that something's wrong. It sends a command up to the machines, tells the machines what to do. The guy drilling is now a process operator, not a buttons and switches yeah. guy. And what he can do is look at how is the process going? How can I improve? Yet we're getting the benefit of machine learning so that the system can get smarter on its own and it can also communicate across multiple rigs. And so the technology actually is using what is all readily available, which is the stuff we see in our lives other places. And so we're adapting and then we've created an ability for others to play on our platform. That means that apps have become a thing. So we have an open code that allows people to come in and plug in and drive the machine. So people can bring their own value. So it's very disruptive because what it does is it means that previous experts who were caught in large companies now actually can go out on their own and can make, get a handle on tools, can get the technology, can develop apps and software. And we think that's one of the big changes is that now where we used to close off our systems, we actually open them up to others to come in and innovate in our space. Well, the good news about the future is it hasn't happened yet. So the best idea is to assume positive. Assume that this downturn actually is an opportunity. And if you look at this disruptive thinking, it works into the future as well. How can I create value? If I create value, can I sell product? I have been, I've been 25 years in the company. I've seen ups and downs. The downs are where we made our best ideas happen because you're desperate and you're hungry and you can only yeah. produce things that are really valuable. That changes everything. And so the future, um, is there a lot of work out there? Maybe not as much as you would think, but can you create work in that space? Can you actually take advantage of this need to get cost out and can we sustain it over time? We're very excited about the future.